Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Let's Go Drew here. You feel me? Everybody don't know. From Boy Based in Brooklyn, you know. Follow me on Instagram, Let's Go Drew. Everywhere, Let's Go Drew. You feel me? We here today. We about to get right in this challenge. So we are here today, um, conducting sounds with Lindsay Sin. Here we have our first, our first guest. Let's Go Drew. Uh, season one, episode one. Here we are. Question one, when did you begin making beats? Okay, um, damn, it was high school? Nah, a lot, middle school. I wanted to make life feed beats. So I was like, Kid the Weirds, Tough Flight, like, all these niggas was making life feed beats. I was like, nah, I gotta get on the wave. My shit was ass, I ain't gonna lie. But for me, it just kept motivating me to keep getting better. In high school, I started taking it serious and then, ever since then, it's just been like, yo, let's keep doing it. In your opinion, what's the greatest beat of all time? Damn. Um, Alright. Now of all time, I'll give you three of the best beats that I think right now. Um, Pink Panthers, Do You Miss Me, Lancey Foe, Spirit of Ecstasy, and um, God Mode, x Savvy, Let's Go Juice. Gotta throw me in there, of course. I like that. Gotta throw me in there. I like that. Who are your top five producers? Um, top five producers right now. A on the radar, it's my brother. Gotta put him up there. Um, let's see. Amir Pride is, I think he's based in Florida. Go crazy. I'm not looking at the camera for him. No, you good. You're good. Um, what else? Three, we gonna go Carter Guy Wings. BC. Four, Pierre. BC. Like, that man is crazy. Um, five. Right now, Benny X. Benny X definitely making the stand for himself. He's he going hard. Feel me? God, God's to, God's to. What three songs do you wish you could have been in the studio when they were making, when they were being made? Um, Skyfall, Metro Boomin, and, um, and Travis, that session, they posted a video on YouTube, crazy, oh my god, I wanted to be there for that. Um, Culture, the first Migos mixtape or album, I definitely would like to be a part of those sessions, because those sessions is legendary, like, regardless. Um, third song, let's see, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with Kodak Black Tunnel Vision. I know that session was wild because that beat is that beat much much more crazy on that one. <laughs> um, Dream Collapse, producer and artist. Shit, myself and Lancey Foe, respectfully. Like I feel like I'm I'm experimental with all the shit that I do. So it's just like he's experimental with all the music he do, so he's a cool guy. We met him went him one time. Definitely had a great conversation with him. So it's gonna happen one day, I'm gonna get that tape. How many beats do you cook up in a week? See, this one is tricky because it depends on the week. Sometimes, you know, life be life and you know, sometimes you gotta get up, you stress, like, damn, bro. So sometimes, when life is doing that, you really gotta just worry about life. I feel like music comes to you at a point in time where it's just easy, because every week, well, I'll pump out 50, and it's just like, oh shit, you make 50 beats this week? And it's like, some weeks you make two. But those two beats is probably better than the last 50 you made, so it's like, yo, bro, just like, always, just, just, always keep an open mind to it, and always, don't overthink it, never overthink it, never, you feel me, just, have fun with it, that's it, honestly. Greatest artist, producer combo, in this three. Me and X Abby, off for off for it, that's, you feel me, that's my God. Every song we do is just amazing, we got a whole lot of shit in the cut, don't come through. Um, Metro Boomin and Offset, crazy. Metro Boomin and Offset, damn. That 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 duo is insane. I don't know. Um, and Weezy and Gunner, come on, Weezy and Gunner. 
like gonna just float on Weezy. Like Weezy just Weezy just give him the pass and then gonna just take over like yo this effortless you from me. He's having fun with it. What's your process for working with artists? Honestly it depends, like cause I don't really have like too much of a process. It's really like yo, like if I fuck with your music, I'll definitely tap in. Um you can always hit me up for beats and shit like that. You know, from we can always work like that, but a lot of the time I'll be hitting up artists, I'll be sending beats out. It's just like, yo bro, get on this. Yo bro, I need you on this. Yo bro, let's do this. Or like they will hear my beat on Instagram, yo bro, I need to work with you. And then you send the song back, like it's tough. Like a lot of times a lot of artists <laughs> say they wanna work with you. You send them some work and they don't work with you. Hey, tough to the game, you feel me? But shout out to all the artists that I work with right now. You know who you are. Appreciate you every day, you feel me? Wait, last question. How do you know when the, your beat is done? Honestly, it, it just gotta sound great. Like, you gotta just get up and like, you gotta try to dance to it. You gotta imagine a female getting ready to go to, you feel me? Just get ready to go do anything, you feel me? Whether she getting ready to go to, you know, from college, you ready, ready to go to, for me, work or she getting ready just to go out with her shorties and shit. Just parlay, you feel me? She got to get ready to it, of course. And you just got to imagine it being in a club and it just, like, that, as soon as that song come on, the vibe change. So, you feel me? Like, it could be simple. It could be, you feel me, extravagant. Like, it's all up to you is how you feel. You feel me? So, yeah, that's all the questions. Appreciate you for having me. Thank you so much. And here we out. Now it's time for the cook-up. All right, best, you know, for me, start off the beat. Usually I pull up any VFC. I started with Nexus today. Pulled up the synth, laid these chords down. Pretty dark. Do an EQ on there, take out the bass notes so it won't be, won't be cluttered and shit. And now I'm gonna look for a, probably another counter melody. Probably throw a pad in there. And then after that, I'm gonna start on some drums. to like sit with it. Tracks, trying to get it, trying to get the mix down. I probably throw a, a little reverb on the piano. Not too crazy. Turn it down a little bit so it just sounds good. Repeat. I got the shit in the background just to you know for me add a little depth to the sound. some drums now. Then we could finally get a little bouncy on it. I like to like 
isolate my drums and focus on my drums in because you know the melody you start with already you understand it but now nah, i gotta get this shit to bounce i want these people to dance you feel me <laughs> not for real The thing is, you gotta have you know a little something on your master. So on your on my master, I throw a little EQ on there. Nothing. I don't put nothing on my EQ. I don't change anything on there. Just throw it on there. Throw the soft clipper. Change. You could change the threshold a little bit. I just believe in that shit default, and that should be knocking for me. For me, so that's some sauce right there. I'm just trying to throw some snares in there, a little percussion. The, the melody sounds really full, so I'm gonna just, just drum it out a little bit, and that's about it. Remember, you know, for me, people gotta rap on it, so you always gotta keep it a little simple, but always try to find a little pocket and make sure and let's make a dance to this shit. That ass. You feel me? Everybody gonna vibe on TikTok, so fuck it. Might as well. <laughs> Switch up, I'm gonna probably turn the piano off and throw a lead in here. Actually, you want another melody? I'll probably, yeah, let me go, let me go use the key code real quick. It sound, it sound decent with the piano, so I'm gonna probably leave it in there. Uh, nah, yeah, with the piano. I'll leave that for the verse. I mean, no, nah, piano for the verse and the hook. I, 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 yeah, we're gonna do it like that. That's you right now. So, the beat sounds pretty much done, so I'm gonna just track it out, make it a little pad, and then that's really gonna be the beat, honestly. You feel me? So, we just gonna. Show y'all the process of laying out some shit. Excuse me, I'm on FL11. Everybody know. If you don't know, I'm on 11. Everybody use 20, 12. I use 11. I'm different than everybody. I ain't gonna lie. Some people call me old. I'm gonna fuck <laughs> this shit. My shit be sounding different. I don't know. It's sound about 11. I ain't never gonna get this shit up. We just about to track it out. Like laying out the beat, I want that just to punch your ear immediately. I ain't gonna lie. Like I want you to just wake up and just hear this shit. Like I don't know. So usually I just 
usually everybody, the first eight balls, they lead it for the hook or the intro. Nah, there's no intro. It's literally the beat. Like, you're going to hear this shit. Come on, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>